Hello and welcome to Universe Sandbox 2. So I have a pretty simple suggestion today and the suggestion is go to the J1407B system, remove the star, and use halt all velocities function and zoom in on the planet as its own rings fall into it. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Here is J1407B with the largest rings or protoplanetary disk that we've ever witnessed. It is estimated to have something around 30 different moons within its rings in several gaps. So, pretty interesting. J1407b is the planet with the largest rings we've ever found. And we believe they are tens of millions of kilometers in diameter. So it is a very, very, very large ring system. Anyways, let's go ahead and see what happens. Let's make sure we slow down time. And it's as simple as going to powers. He's here and hitting halt all velocities right there. And now destruction will ensue. So let's keep a nice close view on the planet and let's hit play. So not much is going on as of yet. Let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit. And we can already see the initial asteroids colliding. Now the problem is, in this simulation, I actually made this a while ago. And the asteroids are not that big of particles, but you can see each one impact. speed this up quite a bit more let's uh go ahead and set the light to realistic and kind of witness as they collide all these little flashes this is currently at a time step of five hours per second and you can see it's just pulling them in like some crazy gravitational vacuum. Now, I don't think it's really too interesting from a close up view. And if we go first person, we rotate with the planet so that can get quite dizzying. So let's go ahead and zoom out and just watch the planet consume its rings. And uh, let's change the background to make it a little bit more visible as well. So you can see it's also throwing a bunch of them around. Oh wow, that gets pretty laggy once you start speeding up too much, because there's a lot of particles there. And you can see a lot of the rings are kind of flying out like crazy. Those are possibly the ones that it's ejecting outwards. Everything still seems to be on a mostly two-dimensional plane, however. Alright, so here's what I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and time-lapse this for about mm, 20 or 30 minutes, possibly. We'll see how long it actually takes.
Okay, so I am back. And let's see what this looks like. Oh, wow, what a mess. <laughs> it's interesting. It's like a giant belt of asteroids all around this system. Of course, I removed the parenting star, but imagine if this happened. A lot of this is all just fine dust and not really large asteroids, which there might actually be some. But, uh... Could you only imagine, like, a system with all of this thrown around it? That might cause hectic on a, uh... Kind of galactic scale of time. I don't think it would cause any immediate asteroids to hit other planets in this system that have yet to be discovered, but... You can imagine there would be a lot more, I guess, shooting stars as all these little, uh meteoroids pass through the atmosphere of these planets. I don't know, I think it's a pretty interesting concept. I'm noticing the planet has not seemingly moved that much since I deleted the star. Oh right, that's because I halted the uh, velocity, so it's just staying still. None of these asteroids really knocked it off course, but it made quite a mess, but as you can see, for the most part, except for that stray one there, it's still on a two-dimensional plane and never really left that. So that's pretty interesting. Hmm. Maybe I might try this with other planets in the system later on. Maybe I'll try that with planets later on. But yeah, you could only imagine how shooting stars would be hitting those atmospheres. Because, uh... There's comets like Swift-Tuttle, which passed through our orbit not too long ago, and ever since we've had some pretty crazy uh, meteor showers every year. So you can only imagine something like this throwing billions upon billions, maybe even trillions upon trillions of particles all over a system like this. Pretty crazy, given this is, as far as I'm aware, aware pretty impossible, but Cool concept nonetheless. Anyways, if you guys liked the video, please subscribe and until next time, I will see you in the next video.